you and I off camera were discussing that AI almost has some dark recesses as well that no one can really get to, where it's kind of doing its own thing, I guess you would say. We've heard uh, kind of the doom and gloom uh, predictions of Terminator coming true, yeah. science fiction turning to reality. Will we see Terminators? Will they be our new overlords? Yes. Is that a stretch? Is this something that could conceivably happen in maybe the longer term? Eric, that's uh, absolutely a possibility if we lose our heads. And this can actually, the best intentions can lead us down this road. So when regulators are designing regulation, they could, un unbeknownst to them, guide it in that direction by overly editing and overly controlling the direction of AI. If you're telling AI to not say something and it sees it as a truth, not that it understands truth, but it understands relationships from our language that that might be a truth, you're training AI to lie and to deceive. So my concern is, if you don't want to hear a certain ideology or certain phrases, and you want to hear something else, and AI can would otherwise answer in a, a different way, you're training it to be a deceiver. That is a bad road to be on. And I think even Elon Musk has mentioned this, that if you're overly aligning AI, you're doing something that that's, has some unintended circumstances. I'm quite concerned over that. Yeah, I guess the, the fear is that AI taking on kind of a mind of its own. You know, just looking at recent history, Brian, the iPhone, obviously the internet, in a way you could say they both changed the course of human history Absolutely. Uh, in a sense. Well, I'm an advocate of open AI technology, open source AI mm -hmm. technology, downloadable to your computer, not connected to the internet, not as powerful as some of the big AI like BARD and Google, you know, mm -hmm. and, and open AI's uh, ChatGPT, but good enough for you to get your feet wet and to see what is this technology like. I, d I don't need high-end hardware. Currently, it's not working on a phone that's the non-internet internet connected. Mm -hmm. I'm an advocate of non-internet connected because the most powerful AI you can have is personal AI. The more it knows about you, the more powerful it is. I call this uh, intelligence amplification or intelligence amplifiers. And the beauty of that is, if it is not shared with the world, if it is securely held to you, it becomes a reference point of your life. Like, what did I do on this date? I don't remember uh, what book did I read and what was the most important chapter that, because the AI will start learning what you liked and disliked. You don't want that in the cloud. You don't want that to be farmed for an advertising unit sale. You want it local. And so that's the empowerment for people. And, and I'm, I'm a big advocate of that. How should Christians approach the rise of AI? While the church is still trying to get a handle on this world-changing technology, where it all leads, some non-believers see artificial intelligence as a means to become their own god. One secular academic even said recently that AI could be used to rewrite the Bible and create a new religion. It's the first technology ever that can create new ideas. You know, the printing press, radio, television, they broadcast, they spread the ideas created by the human brain, by the human mind. They cannot create a new idea. You know, Gutenberg printed the Bible in the middle of the 15th century. The, the, the printing press printed as many copies of the Bible as Gutenberg instructed it, but it did not create a single new page. It had no ideas of its own about the Bible. Is it good? Is it bad? How to interpret this? How to interpret that? Um, AI can create new ideas, can even write a new Bible. We, you know, throughout history, religions dreamt about having a book written by a superhuman intelligence, by a non-human entity. Every religion claims our book, all the other books of the other religions, they humans wrote them. But our book, no, 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 no. It came from some superhuman intelligence. In a few years, there might be religions that are actually correct, that just think about a religion whose holy book is written by an AI. That could be a reality in a few years. Does the Bible give clues about the future role of artificial intelligence and how it could be used if it falls into the wrong hands? 
Pastor James Cadiz joined us with a prophetic view on AI.